Welcome to CEO Money TV. Thanks for joining us. All right, I'm joined with Kakira Akuru. He is the founder and CEO of Eurofly Limited. All right, Kakira, thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, Michael Yoba. Um, uh, uh, it's a pleasure. You're doing an amazing job giving um, voice of vision globally. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, how did Eurofly get started? And, and but before we even get into that, tell us about Eurofly. <laughs> what is it? And then I want to know how you got this thing started. This is great. Yeah, and basically, I, I think um, Eurofly is a model chain platform for the Asian market. And I got this vision basically um, 2017, the month of March, and I gave my car to Mission as a love gift. So I was using Uber. So anywhere I want to go to my business, I will request for Uber. You know, so I was walking down the beach one morning. I got Uber in my subconscious every now and then. And then I said, if I want to get a private jet or a helicopter, how am I going to get one? And I couldn't recall or remember or know of any platform like an Uber to get a private jet, you know? So I, I went back home, I went back to my wife, I was excited. I think I just got these ideas like Apple in my eyes, you know? And because I'm in the blockchain space, I began to decentralize the idea, talk to a couple of friends like Harvey Woods. And, and that's, why, that's how Eurofly got started, you know? So the name Eurofly was built out of Erushaga. Erushaga is my brand, it's my trademark. It means something big is about to happen. And today, the, this is Eurofly. This is what we're trying to do, just save humanity and bring change innovation space and make things um, easy and faster for clients and for the passengers. So it's the Uber of okay. airspace. I get it. Yeah, exactly. All right, now, how does your project impact the crypto markets? Are you, are you taking crypto in a form of payment? Yeah, exactly. You know, um, um, it does in a, in a very unique way because the underlying technology of cryptocurrency is the blockchain, okay? So the proliferation of blockchain allows frequent flyer program um, to evolve a more cleaner and a dynamic tokenized system, okay, for both um, the carriers and the clients, okay? So for example, Eurofly provides a proof of travel token, whereby um, this reward point can be um, exchangeable for other digital assets and cash. For the carriers, they are able to reduce um, the administration, um, the accounting, and the technological body you know, upon high um, complexity of centralized points. So at the end of the day, we have a unique platform, a new market, where these points can be distributed, um, arbitrated, leveraged, and traded in the marketplace. That's what we're doing, it's phenomenal. Wow. All right. Walk me through what you're doing with the blockchain in your project, how that fits in. It's amazing. And we, we have three unique blockchain on the project. Okay. First of all is the Ethereum blockchain. Through the Ethereum blockchain, we integrate it to our Eurofly frequent flyer program in such a way is that um, through the proof of travel token, we are able to able to provide these tokens across different airlines because the issue with frequent fire program have like 5.1 trillion US dollars astounding, you know. So when you travel airline give you this frequent fire program, but it's not easy for, um, for you to convert that to these to cash or to physical fiat currency. So what we do with Ethereum blockchain is make it easy and make it faster and it's more convenient for the carriers and also for um, the clients. So we use civic blockchain in areas of identity. So we scale identity to more safer and it's more transparent and it's quicker without compromising any form of high global demand. So the core platform for Eurofly is Hyper Leisure Fabric Blockchain, whereby we integrate um, blockchain to playing parts like the black box. For example, if the plane falls too high, you can see the black box. It doesn't fall on the water, you can see the black box. So we integrate the black box into a hyper larger fiber blockchain. Okay, so whereby airline have a private key to access that information. So bringing these technologies together, Eurofly is the only platform right now or organization we're able to bring these three emerging technologies together to create a new market and whereby the evasion industry or the evasion space can be a distributed evasion market. 
So that's what we we'll call a multi-chain platform for the Asian market. I get it. What about the venture capitalists and investors? Um, are they liking your project so far? Yeah, exactly. We, we, we have some um, good talk with them. I will be in, in um, Global Blockchain Congress in South Africa on the 17th. And, and I, I think it's amazing because it's not just about just the money because they the money like Jet A1, you know, uh, to aircraft in the project. But uh, we're looking about 2%. I, I reside in Africa, um, I, but I travel the whole world, but 2% of African um, evasion market has been maximized. So, um, and the VC friends, not only will the money comes in, but they're going to create opportunities for employees, um, for uh, 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 um, young um, people in businesses, they're going to emerge out of this project. We're going to create better jobs. We're going to have government, institutions, you know, so they're going to bring not just money, they're going to bring um, the management skills, you know, technology skills and all this. So, it's very important for us because it's not just the money, it's just the organization bringing the capacity in various space um, that they actually operate into the project. You know, so, so it's amazing what we're doing because we're in talk with various companies right now and various investors in Europe um, are also very interested in the project. Okay, tell me about the milestones on your project. How do you think the plan and what is your plan on achieving them? Yeah, actually, first of all, we have um, we place value on the foundation. Our our unique plan is is based on our technological partners. We have three partners: have the Woods in the US, we have um, um, Sabatash um, Infotech in India. We have three companies that came together to work on this project. So, first of all, right now, our unique mobile app will be ready in September. The app is like 60% done right now, okay? Um, so putting the technology partners in place, we're looking at FinTech, we have um, Ahmed Sabaj, all the way in Dubai. Um, in UK, we have um, um, Kaya Di Salao. In Europe, we have Sam. And all these unique team, we have about 200 years of experience from blockchain to technology to finance to marketing. Okay, they've come together for this project. So it, it's amazing at the last quarter, we have the integration of the blockchain to the app for more secure for our data. Um, 2019, we're gonna have our first international conference for the innovation space. We're gonna set up the consensus for governors, uh, uh, for government, sorry, and um, um, institution and organization. In 2020, we're gonna schedule it with automated fleets. Okay, and you're also doing an ICO? Yes, we're doing ICU. It started on the 17th. We actually launched it at um, GBC in um, South Africa. Okay, so private pre started on the 17th. All right. And your cryptocurrency, uh, are you planning on any value at this point for what that, that token is going to be? Yeah, right now it's 0 0.2. 0 0.2 cents, okay, in dollars. Okay. Okay, that's what it was right now. And our hard cap is $20 million. And um, it, it's amazing what we're going to do, sir, because um, we're talking about 3 billion people that take the skies every year. And we only supply 50 million to the public. Look at the demand and supply. It's, it's, it's going to be amazing. This is going to be not just a cryptocurrency consolidation space, but a luxury ecosystem we created in hospitality, um, to state of the art restaurant, to lounge, and um, a luxury travel, lifestyle trip. Everything is integrated into our platform. So there's huge value for this um, uh, ICO and, and the Eurofly coin. Okay, so that's about five other uses besides travel um, that, that I got from exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Have you established a product infrastructure for the product already? For the product? Yes, we have done that. Yeah, yeah, we've done that already. Okay. And uh, your competitor, you know, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, my studio is right next mm. to a, a an airport with plenty of private jets all over the place. Mm. So you got a lot of competition. How do you differentiate and make yourself disruptive? to them or is just being able to take cryptocurrency at this point enough mm -hmm. and call yourself an Uber of, of air travel? I mean, is that enough to separate the value that people will flock to you versus going to um, all of the other air charter services that are out there now? Okay, yeah, a very nice question. And, and due to, um, we have a lot of 
advises in the nation space. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the re platform, what it does is a win win. First of all, um, let me think about the carriers. There are many unutilized fleets globally. Good. So the platform brings them into the platform. So oh. we're not trying to come, yeah, exactly. They comes into the platform, brokers also, um, and they don't want to lose a client because I, I, you are going to come to you to fly tomorrow. Okay, so these same brokers, they've also been listed on the platform. You know, so um, it, it's amazing. It's a win-win. There's no competition. We just trying to bring an equal playing field for everybody. Let me so jump in there for. Uh, let me jump in there with a few questions here. Okay, so you're going to take in mm -hmm. cryptocurrency, be the Uber mm -hmm. of the air, and you're going to be able to bring in and instead of turning, competing with everybody, you're going to make them your clients and participate with this. Are you going to be responsible for taking crypto and either transferring it? to those that do take crypto are turning it into fiat so that you can pay the other companies that are coming in to use, utilize your, uh, if you will, um, mm -hmm. Uber or Airbnb um, formula. Yeah, exactly, thank you. I will actually set up an exchange, okay? Yes. Your exchange, okay, yeah, an exchange. So to have it easy because not every uh, private data shadow has evolved fully into the space. So we'll have options. Okay, but I would give a huge reward system for those who use the crypto. So we also have a system in place whereby those who want to use crypto, like you just said, we be the intermediate, we do the exchange for them, and we'll give them the fiat currency. So it's a win-win. Okay, well, how, what percentage, let, let me jump in there, because I, I mean, you're, you're really kicking, on, kicking me up on all, all cylinders. What percentage at this point um, air travel is actually taking crypto? And basically, it's, it's optional, okay? But already right now, I could say we have like up to 40% of, of, of companies which we've actually had this discussion with mm. who are willing to make this transition, okay? Because of the unique um, services we're bringing and the connection to various um, space, like you said, five different industries connected to the, air, uh, to the travel industry, okay? And we've not even come out fully just by just um, in a connection with our advisors and pitching these various companies, they're very interested to make the transition. Okay, well, I'm still trying to get to the, get the answer. I maybe you told me and I didn't understand it. Okay. Of the people, because this is this is a Uber for air travel. Of the people okay. that are tra that that are bringing the jets to pick you up, what percentage mm -hmm. of those? companies, the air charter service companies, are taking crypto mm. as we speak. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay, not really in our project, outside the space of what we're doing, right? Okay, let me get this straight. You're taking okay. crypto so that somebody can use their cell phone and say, okay, I need a charter from South Africa to North Africa. Okay. I'm gonna pay you in crypto. So they pay you in mm -hmm. crypto. Are you so far ahead of the curve that we've got a 5%, 10% of the jets that somebody else would bring, come into your service, they're not taking crypto yet? Are you, or, or is, is that now starting to unfold where they're all picking up on it? Yeah, it's just started to unfold. I don't, maybe, maybe, I don't think maybe 1%. Okay, that's, okay, that's what I'm trying could, to find out. Yeah. So you're yeah, so far exactly. ahead of the curve that the only people that are real, and, which is great. I mean, that's ground floor stuff. And yeah. that says that people mm -hmm. who get in on your ICO now, as it blows mm -hmm. up, are, are, could, could make a huge fortune. Because in the beginning, uh, people that invested early in railroads or early in air travel, um, they became mm -hmm. huge, huge, uh, you know, it was a massive payoff is what I'm trying to say. Wow. That's... Exactly. That's exactly. way ahead of the curve. It's huge. Sir. It's huge, Mike. And, and I, would, I would drop this note. And, and when I have a meeting with people and I tell them it's bigger than Apple, and they say, what do you mean? I say, not in competition with Apple, but metaphorically speaking, when you mention Apple in Africa and Asia, they understand. It's a household name. So I said, you reply, you'll be like an Apple. It's a household name. And because if you come in early right now, if you miss the internet revolution, the blockchain, early hour revolution, you don't need to miss this move because it's the next big move. 
I get it. I get it. All right. Mm -hmm. um, so I see you've got the platform here. Are you going to be featuring an app so people can do uh, dial this up just like they can in Uber? Exactly, hundred percent. Okay. All right. When is the app and and is it when is the app coming out? September. September. Okay. Got it. I yeah, got so it. It's mid September is coming out. Yeah. Okay. So the ICO. You're going to use the funds for the ICO. Can you give us a, a quick breakdown on that? Sorry? Use of funds for your ICO. Can you give us a quick breakdown on that? Yeah, I actually, we, we're going to um, put like 25% into project development and research. Okay. okay? Um, yeah, we're going to um, use like 5% um, for our administration, you know, office management. You know, we're going to 2% back to the community as community management. We're going to have 15% um, um, for marketing. We're going to have some reserves. Okay. Um, it's been a great interview. We're going to drill down more into this. When you have something else that you're breaking out on, please come back and see us. I, I, again, I've, I've really enjoyed the inter inter interview with you. Yeah, awesome. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to speak with you, Mike. I've heard so much about you. I'm very honored at this point in time. Likewise. I'd like to get on, in on the ground floor of what you're doing. Thanks for being on the show. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, you've been watching CEO okay. Money with Michael Yorba. Don't forget to follow us on fa Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for being with us today.